I see it's it's just nothingness. Nothingness. It's just dirt. Mm-hmm. What yeah. color is this dirt? It's like a reddish mm -hmm. hue. Mm-hmm. And it's desert. Desert. Mm-hmm. And the sky is red. And the sky is red. Very good. Look down at your feet. Can you see that you have feet there? No. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're floating? Yeah, just mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So you're just consciousness there? Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So let's explore this place and see what this place is like. Tell me what else do you see? I see the sun. Mm -hmm. And it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's really, really huge. Mm -hmm. And it's just desolate. Desolate. Do you feel that there's any life forms in this place? No. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine you're doing there? What do you feel that is your purpose for being there? What's the first thing that comes into your mind? Changing it. What are you doing? Changing it. Changing it. Okay. So tell me what it is that you do and how you change it. I think... There's nothing. It's just, just staring. Just staring at it. As you stare at this place, are you getting any emotional feedback or anything that would tell you how you feel in this place? I feel bored. You feel bored. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you feel that you have a purpose there, like you're supposed to be there for a reason, that some, maybe someone put you there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you get from that. I'm upset. Mm -hmm. I want it to end. Mm -hmm. You want it to end? I feel like I'm here in the same spot for a long time. The sun doesn't move. I'm in a wasteland. And I'm angry. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how it is that you got to this place. I want you to close that scene and let's drift to the time before you got to this place to find out why you're there. Be there now. Tell me what you see. I see, um, just light, mm -hmm. clouds, but they're not regular clouds. Mm -hmm. Tell me what they're like. Like a vanilla sky, mm -hmm. like a swirl. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel there? I feel a little bit better, mm -hmm. but about the same. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're moving in this place, or are you stationary? Stationary. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere to move to, it's all the same everywhere. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have anything physical about you this time? No. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're stationary in the sky, or something is moving you? Or that you can move. There is no movement. Mm -hmm. It's just there. Mm -hmm. There's no up or down. It's just wherever, if you perceive that you move, mm -hmm. you really didn't. Because mm -hmm. everything's the same. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens next. 
want you to take me on this journey and see how it is that you do get out of this. You can fast forward it and see what happens. Tell me everything that you experience. Every emotion that comes up. Yes. What thoughts are going through your mind as you're there? It's just a, a throne. Mm-hmm, a throne. What does the throne look like? Describe it to me. It's, it's white marble. Mm-hmm. has golden inlay. Mm-hmm. There's... In, it's, it's white marble with this black streaks through it. Mm-hmm. And there's pillars, huge pillars around me. Mm-hmm. Do you feel you have a body here? Yes. <clears throat> so describe what you look like. Look down. I, uh, I'm, I'm tan. Mm-hmm, you're tan. And I'm large. Large. How large do you feel that you are in size? Ten feet. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Describe your features. I have the beard. Mm -hmm. Is the beard in any particular fashion? It's curly. Mm -hmm. What else do you look like? Very. I'm cut up. You're cut up? Yeah, like uh, muscular. Very... Mm-hmm. Very muscular? Very muscular. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing a... I got like a skirt almost. Mm-hmm. Anything... Any, any adornments on you? Any jewelry? Yes. Tell me what they look like. I have a... It's like a wide necklace. Mm -hmm. It's very thick mm -hmm. and heavy. Mm -hmm. Does it have any symbols on it? It, it does. I can't read it. Mm -hmm. What else? It's uh, has a uh, the the th I'm in the th on the throne mm -hmm. on the on the chair mm -hmm. and there's uh. The, the pillars all around me, mm -hmm. but it's open air. Okay. And the sky is a mix. The feature is a mix of the two places I was just in. Mm -hmm. It's like they both became one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm bored. You're bored. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you do in this place? What is your position here? I'm God, mm -hmm. king of this place mm -hmm. I created. Mm -hmm. Do you have a name that you call yourself? Isep. Hmm? Spell it for me. I-S. P. Isep. I-S-P. E. I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Except. Mm -hmm. Except. So is this, is this your kingdom? I, I don't feel anyone else mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. So you created this world? Yeah, and that's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you do next? Imagine... A bird. Mm -hmm. I see a bird. Mm -hmm. Blue. How big is this bird? It's small. Mm -hmm. It's in the distance mm -hmm. by itself, flying. Yes. Mm 
what happens next. I just enjoy. Mm -hmm. Now, except it seems to me that you're bored there not doing anything. Did you create this place where you are? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. It's co-created. Mm -hmm. With who else? Who else? They're there, but they're not allowed to be. Mm -hmm. It's um, we're aware of each other, but they're doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. Are they gods too? Yeah, they have a place. Like mine, mm -hmm. but different. I mm -hmm. don't know. It's their, it's their perception. It's their place. Mm -hmm. And we don't interfere with each other's place. Mm -hmm. Except who created you? Where did you come from? We did. They and I. Mm -hmm. It was... We created each other. Mm -hmm. Why did you create the form that you did? I don't even know why. Mm -hmm. That makes me think. Mm -hmm. You said that. Let's go back in time and see how it is that you created yourself. I want you to go back further, even further, before you had this body to see how you got together with whoever it was to create this, this reality. Go back to that time now. Tell me where you are. It's black. Mm -hmm. There is no light. Mm -hmm. Someone else is there. Many are there. Mm -hmm. But we can't see nor hear each other. We just know we're there. Mm -hmm. Our thoughts are separate, but the same. Mm -hmm. And it, we came to the decision that this form is the form. Mm -hmm. With all we're in agreement. Mm -hmm. So when did you create this form and how did you do it? form is still spirit mm -hmm. even though it was a body it was still spirit mm -hmm. so it's, it's just seeing it and making it mm -hmm. just seeing it and Manif just manifesting, manifesting it just seeing it in detail and in, in the thought mm -hmm. and then just being in it very good so Except, let's see what happens next with your life. What's the importance of your life? I want you to close that scene and now go forward in your life to where something important is happening. Something very important is happening. Tell me where you are. It's, uh, I don't know, it's a civilization. Mm hmm And, um... It's confused. It's, I don't. I can't tell if it's Sumeria or, mm -hmm. or beyond, even further back. Mm -hmm. And 
it's just the moment I remember being on the throne. Mm -hmm. But I'm human. So let's see where you are. What planet are you on? What does it look like? It's a uh, it's a blue sky. Mm -hmm. The clouds, the desert. Mm -hmm. There's streams. There's valleys. Mm -hmm. It could be Earth, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you're doing on this planet? Surviving. Surviving. What do you look like here? I'm uh, very thin. Mm -hmm. Also tan. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing eye makeup. Mm -hmm. I'm completely shaven. I'm wearing sandals. And I'm praying. You're praying. Mm -hmm. Do you have a position of power in this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you call yourself in this place? What do they call you? Meg Magog. Magog? Magog. Mm hmm. Tough. And I'm like a hermit. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are you a hermit? What do you do with your time? I get stronger. Mm hmm. Tell me how you do that. What do you do in, in times of solitude? I think, I pray, I meditate. Mm -hmm. I sacrifice. What do you sacrifice? Anything living. Mm -hmm. And what do you sacrifice it to? To us. Mm -hmm. Why would you need to sacrifice something to your to yourself? To us. What significance does the sacrifice have? It's It's our ego. Mm -hmm. It's allowing us to remember that what we see is us. So if we kill what we see, we kill our ego. So you don't want to have the ego alive? Yes, but it could be a prison. Mm. Too much, and you die. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you want to do with your life, Magog? What's the reason for the power that you're, you're building? To build a better world. Mm. To continue to evolve the vision. To destroy and rebuild over and over again, seeking perfection. Mm -hmm. What's perfection for you? Whatever I decide. Mm. Okay. So are you planning to use your power in this lifetime. I am, but it's hard. Mm -hmm. Why is that? 
a lot of distractions. Mm, like what? Money. Mm-hmm. Sex. Family. Women. Children. Is that why you became a hermit? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is it helping? Yes. Very good. Very good. So let's close that scene now. And let's go forward in that lifetime and see what happens. Move forward to another significant event and tell me where you are. Look around you. What's happening? Some. Um, it's like a Roman legion. Mm hmm. This is a time where I have no power. Mm -hmm. I'm a soldier. I forgot. What did you forget? I forgot my name, my destiny. I forgot I be my ego. Mm -hmm. My ego won. Mm -hmm. I was completely involved with being a soldier. I was in the illusion. So tell me what happens now in that lifetime. I fight. I suffer. I die. Mm -hmm. For nothing. Mm -hmm. I want you to transition from that life now. Let's move forward to another lifetime. Drift and float to another lifetime, another significant one. Where you will get answers. And tell me where you are. I'm a female. Mm-hmm. Describe yourself to me. It's well, it feels like Victorian. Mm-hmm. And I love myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me what that means. I dominate all men mm -hmm. across my path. Mm -hmm. I manipulate, control all of them. In what way? Um, my sexuality. Mm -hmm. I'm charismatic, smart. And it get, makes me high. Mm hmm to have them give them their power to me. It's very fulfilling. Mm -hmm. What do you do with this power? I acquire things. Mm -hmm. Jewelry and clothing and trinkets. and It's not so much the things, it's them giving it to me. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens in that lifetime. I want you to go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. What happens? I'm in bed. Mm-hmm. I'm dying. And there's a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. They all love me. Mm -hmm. Even the men that I hurt. Mm -hmm. Did you hurt a lot of men? Yeah. But they don't care. How do you feel? Appreciative, thankful. Do you have you any regrets? No. I wish I heard a little less, mm -hmm. but it's a good life. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking about as you're 
in that last stage? I'm just happy. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Mid-90s. Mm -hmm. You've lived a good life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody there that you see, that you've hurt, that you recognize in the life of Jason? I don't really recognize the face. Mm -hmm. The face is uh, it's a man with a mustache, mm -hmm. slick back hair, suit, pinstripe. Mm -hmm. uh, another one is wearing suspenders, a white shirt and tie. I don't. Mm -hmm. They all look sad. They were pretty fairly young. Mm -hmm. uh, from you know me being ninety, I don't know if they're my sons or. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure. Okay, very good. So I want you to take your last breath, transition out of that life, and tell me if there's any lessons that you learned from that lifetime. What did you learn? Balance. Mm -hmm. And that might does make right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's walking a fine line. Mm -hmm. And living the way I want to live. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you succeeded at whatever it was that you wanted to learn in that lifetime or do? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was a good lifetime. Yeah. Very good. So drift away from that. I want you to close that scene, and now we're going to another lifetime that's significant, that has answers. Where are you? I'm in a bar. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? I'm male. Mm -hmm. Much older. Mm -hmm. I was just an alcoholic I'm mm -hmm. drinking. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your life. Um, shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know what time. I just know I'm sitting in a bar. Mm -hmm. And uh, my clothes are disheveled. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't care about anything. Okay. Let's close the scene. Let's go backwards and see how it is that you got into that condition. Go back to where your life was not the way it was just now. Where are you? It's um, a little younger and I'm in a, in a home. Mm-hmm. Oddly enough, similar to the home I recently lived in. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like a brownstone. And I'm married and... So we have a kid. Yeah. How do you feel in that? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm happy, but I'm all right. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, just, just there. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living? Do you know? In a factory. Mm -hmm. Working in a factory, just part like just assembling parts. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Are you happy there? There's a few guys there that are friends. Mm -hmm. They're cool. You mm -hmm. know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't want to be there. Okay. So I want you to move ahead now to the moment where you start going into the alcohol. Let's find out what triggered that. A woman. Mm -hmm. I uh, started having an affair. She had red hair, bluish green eyes, very attractive. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the beginning of the end. Mm -hmm. What caused that? I started becoming distant to my family. I want to spend more time with her. What kind of influence did she have on you? Oh, I was completely enamored. So she had a lot of influence. Mm -hmm. So now I want you to go forward in time now to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Tell me where you are. Oh, I'm in a... I'm in a little apartment, mm -hmm. one by myself. In a building, it's a high rise. I, I, um, I think I take my life. Mm -hmm. How do you take your life? A revolver. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what happens after you take your life? Where do you go? I'm back. Uh, I'm back in the uh, the vanilla sky, the cloud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what happens to you then? I want you to follow that route. Where do you go? I'm there for a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was almost like a disappointment. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Just for my peers all around me that I cannot see or hear. Mm -hmm. But they're like, like, really? <laughs> you feel they were judging you for that life? Not necessarily judging me, but it was a mutual understanding of I did that and so will you, so will we. Mm -hmm. It happens. So I was disappointed in not me personally, but us. Mm -hmm. As a collective? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you could have done better in that life? Mm, no. It was supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. What were you supposed to learn? Or experience? Attachments. Mm-hmm. Attachments get you killed. Mm-hmm. So you became attached to this woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And despite being attached to my family and too many attachments being attached, and that was it. Mm-hmm. So do you feel that the lesson is you really can't be attached to people? That's it. Mm-hmm. Very good. So close that scene. I want you now to go to the scene right before you choose this life that you're living now. Before you choose to become Jason. Tell me where you are. I'm back in Vanilla Sky. Mm -hmm. But one section of the sky is black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm strong. Mm -hmm. 
I feel angelic, mm -hmm. but beastly. Monstrous. Is this something that you created for yourself? It's just an effect of the experiences. Mm -hmm. The experiences create. Mm -hmm. The experiences of all your lives? This, every experience creates. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose to create this experience, this angelic but beastly, monstrous being? What was the reason for that? Because all that is is God. Mm -hmm. So you must be all Tell me more. I'm never satisfied. Mm -hmm. I could have stayed there. I just enjoyed being. But I always want to come back. So what was the reason that you chose this life of Jason? How did you know? how to project yourself into this body and not another one. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. Tell me how perfect it was. Give me the circumstances that you chose. The equal balance of pain and joy. Mm -hmm. Too much joy, you become ego-ridden. Too much pain, you become black, death. Mm -hmm. No, you don't care for yourself. You don't care for anything. You loathe existing. The right balance of pain and happiness. The duality gives reason for both. So what did you want to learn in this lifetime? There's not so much learn. It's experience. It's experience and, mm -hmm. and rule. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's to, to, to put what I learned into practice. Mm -hmm. So explain to Jason, what it is that he's supposed to be doing in this lifetime with his purpose. I'm supposed to realize that I never left the scene and the throne I created. Mm -hmm. I'm still there. And all of this is part of that. Mm -hmm. So Jason is still a God manifesting. It's, yes, but there's, there's more to it. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, just release. You gotta release right and wrong. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? How do you release right and wrong? By acting according to thine will. Mm -hmm. Instead of somebody else's? It's not someone else's. Mm -hmm. It's always yours. Mm -hmm. The 
it's still very lonely. Mm. Why is that? Because it's all fake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Explain to him. Oh, explain to me. Tell me about this fake fakeness. There's nothing. It's just There's really nothing to say about it. Okay. He wants to know what his magical past and ancestry is. He's... He's me. Mm-hmm. And therefore, he's everything. Mm-hmm. So what do you... What, what name do you give yourself? Or what description do you give yourself? Just for the record. Oh. I'm getting blank. <laughs> well, what archetype are you? Does that help? He wants to know what archetype he is and connected to the Godhead. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anyone you want. Because you're all that is. Choose from day to day, moment to moment. Mm -hmm. Is that going to satisfy Jason? That answer? No, but it's the truth. <laughs> Maybe you can give him something that he can chew on. He came here for answers. Oh. I give him what he needs. His archetype. If I tell him an answer, he... Humor him. Oh. B controller. B controller? Yeah. Mm hmm B decider. Mm-hmm. That's what he is. Very good. What is the purpose that you gave him? or he gave himself for his return here? To be the controller. Mm, okay. <laughs> to is, be... Is he doing that? No. Mm. What does he need to do to control? Imagine and project. Mm -hmm. Visualize and push. Is that the secret to controlling your life? Anybody's? That's it. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. imagine it, project it out. So let's focus. Focus. So most people who are not living the life that they want is basically they're not imagining that life? They don't, yeah, no. They don't... They only perceive what's in front of them. Mm -hmm. They don't see the potential. They don't see... Not the creativity of mm. But it's okay. They'll get there. But Jason will get there too. Jason knows. Mm -hmm. Good. 
what magical or spiritual path workings will propel him into his ascent and grant him grant him that power and growth that he seeks he's doing it mm -hmm. evocation possession to the godhead mm-hmm It's the keys. It's always been the keys for everyone. Mm -hmm. Once everyone does this, then all will be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in, in simple terms, ask and you shall receive? <laughs> Simply. Mm -hmm. It's how you ask. Mm -hmm. How would you ask properly? You need to ask. From your subconscious, mm -hmm. the gateway. Not from your ego. Not from your ego. Mm -hmm. So your subconscious, you could also also call it from your heart, from your heart center. This is true in a sense, mm -hmm. from your third eye. Mm -hmm. It comes from your heart into your third eye and out. Mm -hmm. No, I, I've heard that a lot of people have their third eye blocked. Is there a reason why the third eye is blocked? It's growth. Mm -hmm. You don't give all the gifts immediately. Mm -hmm. Then there's nothing to strive for. So right now many people are trying to open up their third eye. Would asking to have the hard third eye open, open it? Not all the time. Mm -hmm. it depends. It depends on what do they perceive. Mm -hmm. People could ask for things and not even perceive it to be real. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they'd have to be ready for it. They have to know what's real. Okay, good. And many people just don't believe it. No, they, no. Just, they just want things <laughs> and they don't even know what they're asking for. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the Victorian woman asking for trinkets. Yeah. Just to have it. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what's Jason's true name and status in the higher realm? Does he have a name? I don't know why. It doesn't matter. Mm. You're Jason. Be Jason. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to be in the higher realm. You are there. You just <laughs> be Jason. Mm -hmm. That's the name you should use right now. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no other, no other name needed. No other name needed. Okay. Call yourself Isby, call yourself God, call yourself John, call yourself Eric, mm -hmm. Lucy, Wendy, Bob, it doesn't matter. Okay, good, good. What about his health? What he, should he be doing? He's gone from one diet to another. What's the best thing for his vessel right now? Meditation. <laughs> Not food? Food. Says he likes an occasional hamburger. Yeah. Pray over it. Pray over it. Mm hmm. Focus your will of what it does for you, what it's going to change for you. It's going to make you healthier. Focus that intention in what you eat, and it will change. Mm -hmm. The food is not real either. <laughs> tell, tell me about that. Everything is perception. The world tells you you will be fat if you eat this, then you will be. Mm -hmm. If everyone collectively perceives, or not even collectively, you yourself perceives, that it'll make you healthy and strong, you will make that happen. Mm -hmm. Eat ice cream all day. It's perception. 
It's true perception, true third eye, mm-hmm. true manifestation. So like those people who are breatharians and don't eat anything. They just live off of the breath. That's it. It's their intention. It's their intention. Mm-hmm. So you could eat whatever you want. You could work out and not work out. Mm-hmm. It's just the illusion has you. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Okay. So we need to drop that illusion and start understanding that we create our own health. This is true. Mm-hmm. Same as illness. Same as illness. Mm-hmm. He wants to know about um, manifesting physical immortality. Mm. Tell him about that. Mm. Why? (laughs) Okay. There's a time and a place. Do you want the time and a place to be now? Or is the time and a place for that in the future? If the time and the place you want that to be now, then phase there, go there. Imagine yourself there. Imagine the companies making it happen. What do they look like? What kind of businesses they have? What's the infrastructure of the society like to facilitate that? Have you imagined all that? No. Then why would it happen? Think about it. Who's inventing it? How are they inventing it? Once that image is in your mind and you project that image, it'll happen. Time is meaningless. Now, do most of us need to be projecting the same image? Or is it on a one-by-one one basis? Do we, are we living different realities? It's both. Mm-hmm. It's one individual perceives that for themselves, depending if they believe it's real, if it's authentic, they'll go there. Mm-hmm. Things will start changing around them. Governments will fall. Things will happen. Companies will rise almost instantaneously. Mm-hmm. It'll seem like a normal occurrence everyday life, but it's their manifestation. They're phasing into that place. Mm -hmm. The collective consciousness? Or even one? Even one. Mm -hmm. So you could be actually living a different reality than everybody else. That's it. Mm -hmm. So you could be living to be a thousand years old or more in your own reality? We're all (laughs) in our place, knowing of each other, but separate. Mm Mm-hmm. Because I think he's talking about not dying. Oh, I, I'm aware. Mm-hmm. And that was the answer. Okay. Don't, if you don't want to, you won't. Mm-hmm. If you believe that you will, when everyone does, then you will. Okay. It takes a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if Jason is aware of the talks about the new earth. Mm. Are you familiar with the new earth? of creating a separate earth right now Hmm. where it's splitting it's always been splitting Mm -hmm. every time someone thinks it splits Mm -hmm. it's just more people are aware of it splitting Mm -hmm. so that creates a stronger split so what happens when this consciousness this awareness splits off the earth what is one earth going to look like in the other earth going to look like and who goes where Um, I feel like I repeat myself Mm -hmm. (laughs) well that's why I ask the questions in different ways just to make sure If you don't know of the new earth (laughs) and you're not aware of even the idea, Mm -hmm. it's not your time. Okay. All right. So basically you have to know about it and you're pretty much there already. 
if you're focused you on won't, it. You won't even know what's happening. Okay. It just starts happening around mm-hmm. you. Different things pop up, just yeah. like we were talking about. Yeah, it's just, it's, you may wake up one day and be in the new earth and not mm-hmm. even know it. And right. just, just things just seem a little bit more peaceful. Mm-hmm. People are not as angry. <laughs> you know, like, mm-hmm. all of a sudden, more people have more money. Mm-hmm. Less people are sick. Yes. It's just... It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. And okay. no one would know the difference. Mm-hmm. They'll just look at each other and go, all right, this is... Much nicer these days. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> It's simple. Can you talk about the Mandela effect? What's going on? Mm. Everybody, it's making everybody crazy. Yeah. The Berenstain Bears changing and Luke, I am your father. It's just... Uh, Are they playing with us or what? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a way of... Uh, there's a group of people that are aware. Mm-hmm. So they're projecting their awareness. They're aware of, of the, the, the digital nature. They're aware that time and space is an illusion. They're aware of different timelines. And they're imagining. And it's becoming reality because their imagination of the steps it takes to get to a certain place is crisp. Mm-hmm. So one of the things that has to happen is that people need to start becoming aware as well. Mm-hmm. So they see, they have a projection of what they want and there's a place, a method of getting there. Mm -hmm. So all that's happening is this process of getting there. It's like a shifting? It's a shifting, Mm -hmm. but it's it's part of us doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's our collective doing it. It's it's like... uh, I'm in my in my throne, looking at the the jungle and the the sky, and I can't see my friends or see us, but they're in another reality, mm-hmm. and they're doing that. But we've all collectively agreed to it. Okay. Yeah. And we're all like that. We're basically all agreeing without knowing each other. Without knowing each other, because it's one head. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about his practices that he's doing right now? Mm. Who's helping him? I am. Mm-hmm. Are you manifesting as different beings? Yes. <laughs> okay. But those beings do exist okay. outside of me. Okay. Are they are they created by thought? How how are these beings created? They were there before us. Okay. They are us. Okay. Mhm. Are these uh, beings helping him? Everything helps you. Okay. Nothing happens to you, happens for you. Mm -hmm. So we're all in this together. We're all creators. We're all creators. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we all coming from the same Godhead? There's only one Godhead. Okay. No one knows who it is. Mm -hmm. Even God comes from the Godhead. Mm -hmm. No one. We all know it's there. How does this Godhead feel to you? It's And it's almost, almost indifferent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whether it's good feelings or bad feelings, mm-hmm. it just wants you to feel. Mm-hmm. 
you feeling is its experience. Mm-hmm. That's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Kind of reminds me of that life of the detachment that that he had been too attached mm-hmm. to those things. Mm-hmm. And it kind of messed him up. That's it. So the more that you attach to people and things, it kind of separates you more from like what the Godhead is. When you, it's, it's because it's indifferent. Mm-hmm. It just mm-hmm. now if you are attached and you're going through emotional suffering, mm-hmm. it feeds on that as well. Okay. It's probably, it, it's experiencing that. It's experiencing everything. And it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Would you do a body scan on Jason, see how his health is doing? He's good. He's good? Yeah. Now, where did he get all of these ideas for his company? Has he done this before? Yes. Where, in what lifetime did he do this? Where did he get this information? Is it from this planet or a different planet? Or maybe something advanced somewhere else. It's he is a receiver. Mm-hmm. He is. Uh, he receives data. Mm-hmm. It's this information. He's carried. He's imagined while he was on his throne. Mm-hmm. Information he's imagined while he was in the desert. Mm-hmm. The information he's carried in the cloud. Mm-hmm. It's just we hold the information for him. Okay. Can't hold all that information in him. Mm-hmm. Okay. This place where he was, this planet, this planet, this red planet, is that a planet that we we know? It had like a reddish sky. Reddish sky, reddish, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's primordial. Okay. Planets don't exist the way we're told. Mm-hmm. How do they exist? They could exist in any form you could perceive. Mm-hmm. A planet could be round. A planet could be flat. Mm-hmm. A planet could be a square. A planet could be a triangle. And this one that he was on, was that Earth or was that a different one? Because the sun was very, very close. It was a form of Earth, but mm-hmm. all planets are. Mm. All that exists is eternal Earth. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's convoluted. <laughs> and where is this throne? Where you are? Between eternal Earth and spirit. Okay. And when he was describing to me what he looked like in in this form it kind of remind me of the Sumerians uh, the uh, the very tall tall beings mm. does that have anything to do with these gods that were 70 feet tall and such <sighs> Did you ever exist in that form on this planet or another planet? Hang on. Can you show Jason that picture of what you could have looked like? I see it. Mm -hmm. Can you describe what it looks like? It's 
It's very ancient, mm -hmm. very technologically advanced. It's not how we see the physical realm now. It's a mix. Mm -hmm. It's the veil. The separation of spirit and earth wasn't there. So we both walked in spirit and in flesh simultaneously. It was a different existence. What a physical appearance did you have? When you were physical. Just um, very thick hair, large brown eyes, tall, strong, very smart. Just in a, a feeling of in the moment. Mm -hmm. Everything was in the moment. I embraced the moment. I didn't look back too far. I didn't look forward too far. I was always right now. And you say you were technologically advanced. What kind of technology did you use? I was, um, it was a lot of crystal. Mm -hmm. It was tuning. Mm -hmm. You use the the uh, crystals like we would use computers now. Even more so, it's mm -hmm. uh, it, all it does is heighten your imagination, your perception. Okay, it's just. An expansion. That's all it does. It's, it's, a, it's, it's very nature is created by our own imagination, but it's a totem. Mm -hmm. It's a trinket to focus your will through to become more powerful. Okay. In it itself, it's nothing, but it's the properties we desire to give it. Mm -hmm. So when we take a stone or a crystal and we set an intention on it, then we believe in it. It, it changes change? the formula. Okay. It changes what it is. Mm -hmm. But they're important. How can Jason use crystals to help him? He needs to decide what help he wants. Mm -hmm. Grab his crystal, whatever he may decide, find the properties he wants, meditate and hold it, project the vision of what he wants into the crystal. Pour his emotions into the crystal. Seal it with intention. And use it. Excellent. Excellent. Do these crystals need to be cleaned when other people use them? Only if you are aware that other people use it. Mm, okay. Okay. So they're basically tools. They're tools. Everything's a tool. Your fo your body's a tool. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Excellent. Is there anything that you would like to tell Jason today? So maybe an, a question that we didn't ask that would be beneficial to him today. Stop and imagine more. Every moment, perceive it what it is in front of you and change it within your mind's eye to whatever you desire. Do it more, not less. Don't take what you see as face value, fact or real. Use your power. Do not forget every moment. Imagine more. Very good. How can it connect with you easier? He 
he connects with me all the time. Okay, good. He just, um, it's really him knowing factually, viscerally, who he's talking to. Mm-hmm. Now he knows. He's always known, but the more imagination and intention, the stronger the connection. Good, good. A question, why did you bring him here today? This has been long in the making. Uh, just to show him. Mm-hmm. He's doing the right thing. And that his instincts are correct. This is the time where at the precipice he needs to help remove the veil. Mm-hmm. And why me and not another practitioner? This has to be balance. Mm-hmm. There's darkness in moving the veil. Mm-hmm. Not all of us could be dark. So did he feel safe with me? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Very good. So, do you feel that we're complete today? Yes, I do. Very good. Thank you very much for all the information you've given Jason today. I know he's really going to appreciate it. And I'd like to thank all of the other energies that help him to continue on his path. Thank you very much for bringing him here and allowing me the pleasure of doing this session for him. All right. Wide awake now. So, wide awake now, feeling wonderful all over. <laughs> wow. What do you remember? Quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? <sighs> I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I got shit there to do. <laughs> or. Were you getting more information than what was being said? A little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I said this. I spoke a lot of it out, mm-hmm. but a lot of it was being given mm-hmm. to you, downloaded. Yeah, it's just. Um, it's not really a feeling of urgency. It's a feeling of. Um, of. Like getting on task. Yeah, it's just a feeling. Okay, you know, I'm just doing what I got to do, and mm-hmm. and. Um, because it's it's not just for me mm-hmm. it's, it's for them it's for yeah. us yeah so when the veil comes down then it's better for us mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know we could take a lot of that energy from that place and bring it mm-hmm. so how long do you feel the session was how long were you i felt like um maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes it's about an hour and 20 minutes. Okay. It was longer. Um, an hour. Now, nothing crazy and funky happened here. Okay, good. I didn't go... <laughs> no. <laughs> no monsters, beastly stuff. It had a lot of information that I think helps a lot of people. Is this something that you would want to share? Yes. Share it. Because it's, it's, it was really about manifesting. The whole thing seemed to be about how... We all have that power to manifest and how to do it. It gave specific instructions on how to manifest. I don't know. You know it's up to you. It's your no, session. Yeah. But I, I didn't feel... Well, that. I came here to help yeah. as well. Yes. So part of my service is if that if you feel that that information is going to... If I'll help somebody. Somebody, then... Mm-hmm. Who's on the right path, on the same path as you are. Then that's what... Then that's... Because then that, that person is also me. Yes. <laughs> They're so, all aspects of you. Anyway. So if, if, if I say no, then I'm shutting off information to myself. Yes. Absolutely. So let's, let's uh, sit up and say goodbye. Okay. Okay. Hello. Well, we had a very interesting session. Mm-hmm. So, Jason, wh- where are you from? I'm from the Bronx. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And where do you live now, though? You didn't drive down from the Bronx. No, no, I live in Orlando, Florida. Okay, so tell everybody why you came here and what you got out of this session. Well, um, I'm on a new spiritual path. 
and uh, something that's always been developing throughout my life, but it it took a turn, and it's been heightened, and I just have a sense of that there's more to the story of why we're here, why we exist. Um, there's things that trigger that, like the Mandela effect, and and there's things like um, yeah, <laughs> and there's things like um, there's experience I had as a child, and just a, it's just a sense and. I started a new journey and I wanted to get more clarity and to know that it's the right thing and this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So how did it feel to be hypnotized? Um, <laughs> it's hard to recall that. It's hard to know what it feels. It feels relaxed. You're just relaxed. Mm -hmm. uh, you're at peace. Um, and you're not really it's it's you're not really thinking but it's just coming through you you're not really you're not trying to figure it's just you just see it and it just if you just allow it it just happens you just gotta just be at peace and relax like, you have to be in an allowing state mm. because if you're trying to control it there's like no way mm -hmm. you can be hypnotized you and that's try. part of the ego is you know the right. fear and the control yeah and um, if you, if you can't do that, then... You did great. You did great. I, I thought that was a really cool, cool session. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so if you want a session with me here in Miami, I do travel also. You can go to albawyman.com and uh, book a session, just like Jason did. And we can either see each other in Miami or in one of the places that I travel. Just check my website. All right, so that was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, until the next time.